this on the engine stand last night, but I didn't have bolts long enough to hold it to the engine stand, so I get bolts now. Welcome to life with Bilsif. So we gotta get this cherry picker set back up, grab a hold of this bad boy over here, and get her onto the stand and undo the transmission. So I'm glad you're here for this, I think. Frank. All right, let's get this done. No dicking around, let's just do her up. I started porting a stock manifold last night, and I'll explain why I'm doing that because I'm not sure which way I'm going yet. I'm gonna see how the money situation is. So, what we need is a chain. We're gonna do this a little differently this time. We're gonna put one here, so we'll be able to keep a nice and level, we will. And then we'll put one here, and we'll give it the same kind of angle to dangle, which is right about there. Hook it on there, like that. And we get a tire to the trans and they show on. All right, so, ah, there we go. Let's try it, see what happens. What do I do with my doodad? There it is. I almost guarantee it's gonna wanna tip back, but hey, you never know. Oh. Would you look at that? Yeah, so he wants to tip back, but that's okay because I gotta get under the training anyway. There we go. So we'll slide this out and just move it down a little bit and we'll get the bolts off the bottom here to get rid of that pan. Hey, look, it's a dipstick tube. <laughs> Careful. So I've never took one of these off, so I'm new at this. But I think there's two bolts here, there's a bolt here, so we gotta get them out. Now I know what you're all gonna say, put it on the ground first, you're gonna break the train off. No. No, I'm not. It's all good, Captain. Yeah. I have faith in what I'm not doing. You gotta remember the old 350s, they didn't have this piece on here. So your last training bolt was up here anyways. Okay, this is ridiculous. Remember what I told you about hand bombing? I'm no good at that. Oh, ooh, yee. There we go. So we get one under here, which I can't do with that. We got some oil in the bottom of this pan. So that's not good. That means something's leaking back there. We'll figure that out in a minute. There you go. I think this is the last one. And this pan should drop out. Because we got to undo the torque converter after this is off. Well, all these bolts should be the same except for the bottom two. They're a little different. So we gotta make sure we put them back in so we know where they go. There you go. So there's that is catch pan. So that's off. So now all we can do is we can do the torque converter bolts. Let's do it from this side. There's more friggin' room. There's one right there waiting for me. Let's see. Hey, I'm right here, man. Friggin' right here. Yeah. Jesus. If you ever wonder, extra leverage. See that? Oh god. Ooh, hey, ooh. I'm not just gonna give her a whack. Now just remember when you're doing this, take your friggin' spark plugs out. It makes it a hell of a lot easier to turn over the engine. But the only thing I gotta watch is the dipstick is in the fucking oil pan. Hear that? Crack loose? Generate did. I do remember there used to be three. But we're just gonna double check. There might be four in this one because it's an LS. Yep, there's another one right there. Back in the day, it used to be three. Now, another way you can do this too, if you want, is to stop it from turning and put like a crowbar in the tooth on the flywheel to stop it from moving. Or you can just use a hammer like I did to crack her loose. It all depends. Oh, there's another one. She's got lots on this one. I like doing it this way. That way you don't have to try to hold a crowbar at the same time too. Another one. I wonder why these things are so tough. Oh, we definitely got her. Yeah, because the torque converter is away. There you go. So we got that off. So now what we can do is move all this stuff out of the way for a minute and we'll lower the engine down and we'll disassemble the trans on each on. We're going to have to put the train on something here because the oil pan is dead deep. So let's see if we can get it right down and I'll see if I can relocate that chain to hold the back of the motor. I know a lift and plate be easier for the girls people, but it's all good, man. All right, so there we go. Get over here and watch this. Oh, you can watch my tranny drop onto the ground. It's gonna be awesome. I am gonna put some wood under it. Give her a little wedge of ruski. 
You're seeing the serious side of dirty old Bilsif. All right, there we go. So now the transmission should come apart with a little persuasion. It's gonna need persuasion because she's probably been together for a while. Oh, careful, don't break her. Maybe if we wiggle the motor a little bit. We got these dowel pins, which hold everything together pretty good. Sometimes it's gonna grab a hold of her. Oh, yeah it is. All of a sudden she'll just go, you watch. I remember doing this when I was a kid, it was a bit sometimes. Oh. Something's happening. Oh, I am just getting too old for this shit. It's definitely moving. Keep going, Captain. Don't give up. It's just like I'm sad. <laughs> oh, the gap's getting bigger. There she goes. She's going. Just easy, gentle. Careful. Okay, so now I gotta come down a little bit and keep my two dead in here. Uh, the dowel pins are rusted into the tranny a little bit. I know I could probably be a lot meaner than I'm being, but I'm trying to be careful. I don't wanna break, fuck off. There you go. See, just gotta be gentle. Take your time and things will happen. There you go. Separation of the end of her Yeah, I freaking did. That's one hell of a torque converter. Now we'll get we'll get a cart to put the tranny on because it's we a little bit. Does. She's not a light one. Look at the size of the torque converter. So let's back this up and get her on the old stand room. Look at that perfect lift. Perfect lift, babe. Look at it. It's perfect. Well, do you want chili dogs for dinner? Sure I do. Yeah, that'd be decent. Let's see where we need to put this. So if we go, so those ones have to go to them, obviously, so we'll get them in first. The little Princess Auto had the things we needed. M10s by one hundos is what they had. The next side down was too short. So if you're wondering, that's what we're going with right there. So we're gonna need some washers, as you can see. Holy crap, they're long. Need a hundred freaking washers. Take old sockets. If you have any old sockets, you put a big washer on, you put a big socket on, and there's your freaking spacer. Well, that was a little much. We're gonna go for some really big nuts instead. There you go. If I go right about there, it should be good. So let's tighten that thing up. Okay, so now I just wanna feel these by hand. Feels good, feels good, feels good, feels good. So now we'll tighten the bracket up. Some guys take the flywheel off when doing this, but just gotta make sure you got clearance so you don't bend the flywheel, that's all. So now we should be able to let the weight off of the uh, cherry picker. How's she look, decent? How's she feel? Yep, we should be good right there. There we go, cap my liner. But now that's on there, I only have one problem. I gotta get her in further so I can get the pin in. Perfect. Well, there you go. That only took an uh, hour. That took a 47-year-old man an hour to do. So that's not bad. So it'll take a 26-year-old kid to do it probably in about 15 minutes. You know, because I don't move as fast as you young bucks. But we got the stand, we got the engine on the stand, we got the transmission separated, we'll get something to put the transmission on, we'll clean up around here, and then we can rotate this engine, take the oil pan off, and get the dipstick tube out. So don't forget to stick around for that, because that's to come, and that's going to be freaking awesome when we do that. The best part, though, is still going to be putting it in the van, eh? That would be the best part, for sure. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell at the top there. Make sure you click on that bad boy so you'll be notified when I have new videos out. Why wouldn't you? Love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.